Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Ajdi Creations. Today we are starting a very very brand new project and this is a very interesting project where we'll be creating the Ashtavinayak in Madhubani style. For this I have taken my A3 size paper. Let me give you the dimensions of this sheet. So this is a 42 cm by 30 cm sheet and we will be creating the uh, Ashtavinayak in Madhubani style. Let us start. Now I will be dividing this video into two. In the first part, we will design the entire sheet and learn how to make the spaces that we will finish the video. So for the first thing, we are going to draw three lines at a gap of one centimeter. So we are drawing one line at one centimeter, two and three on both sides. So this is going to form our border. So let me start. The outermost one centimeter line is going to go in the framing. In the same way, we are going to draw the three lines at a gap of 1-1 cm on the sides as well. Now, let me do this in black pen and show you how the borders look. For this purpose, you can take any black pen, you can take your micron, you can take any black gel pen. So this way. So now we've drawn the three lines. Now I'm concentrating on showing you how to draw the border on the base. First, for drawing the border, take your scale and mark points at one one centimeter gap. So this is going to help your border to be very symmetric. So this markings, please do in your pencil. This is this is only going to give us our reference lines for creating a beautiful border. So I'm just going to draw my lines. So this way we've drawn our base grid. We are going to draw the same grids on the side as well. So let us now start our border. Now we are going to be drawing two borders. For the outer border, we are going to draw semicircles semicircles let me draw a reference line dividing this into half so we are ending it here and we'll just do some other pattern in the corners so don't cover your corners with it in this draw another line in the center and we'll be doing color in this with a contrasting border in the center part where we'll be making Ganpati ji. Now comes this outer part for here I'll be drawing my lines. So now I have done my finished this, I have just done a double line here. Now we will do our design for the outer line. You can do a double line for the outside also. Now we will do our outside border. For this, 
We are going to first draw slanting lines. Now that we've done our slant one side, we'll do our slant the other side. Now we've drawn it across, we've drawn the cross lines and we've got a, a box in the diamond shape. Now we are going to draw a box in the center like this. Now if you are new to our channel then we have done lot of courses on Madhubani starting from Madhubani beginners. We have done 9 lessons in that where we started from basic beginner lessons which cover the borders then the flowers how to make different styles of Madhubani flowers and leaves how to make different types of Madhubani birds even how to do make different types of Madhubani animals like the elephant etc. Coming to very special projects like making Madhubani board games, Madhubani cards, Madhubani hangings. We've also done an advanced course in Madhubani where we've covered all, basically all the five forms of Madhubani. We've explained them. We've done special projects on the Kachni style, on the Bharni style, as well as even the painting of Radha Krishna in Madhubani. So I will mention the links in the description box. You can even check those out. Now once you have drawn your inner boxes, we are going to draw horizontal lines. It's going to be a contrast because there will be lining work in the center and there will be color in the outside. So if you are liking the video, please, please, please press the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and please also press the bell button so that you are notified as soon as we have put up a new video. Now let me finish the border on all four sides and show you how it looks. So now this way I have done my border on all four sides and see how pretty the border has started looking. Now we are going to add color to our border. For doing that here I am using few shades of red and orange to do my border. So what we will be doing is, let me start doing it from, the, from one end. We will do red alternatively. Now here you can use any colors of your choice. I am using my brush colors. I will be using a combination of few colors here. And you can use your posters, your acrylics, your alcohol markers, your water colors, whatever suits you. So as soon as you add color to your paintings, you will see that a lot of vibrancy is added to them. Now we are going to take our orange and we will do it in the alternate parts. Now we have done. So how pretty the border has started looking now with the color. Especially because orange and red look very nice in a combination. Now we come to this part. And here also we are going to fill up the color. We are going to finish the border and then we are going to start our design work. Here I am using a navy blue color. It's mainly any dark blue shade that you have with you. You can use a cobalt blue or a Persian blue if you are using your acrylic or poster colors as well. So this way let us finish all sides of the painting border and start painting inside. So now we have drawn our border. Our border is complete and see the border is looking very pretty in contrasting colors. Now I am going to show you how we are going to divide our inner space and this is really important so follow the steps. So first point we are going to mark is from 1 cm from both the sides. First let us mark from one side one centimeter. The second point is at 
five and a half centimeter and the third is at seven and a half centimeter so let us join these lines first don't draw them too dark i will just show you how we are going to be creating our boxes okay in the same way let me turn it around it's going to be one centimeter then five and a half and then seven and a half now just join the lines So we've drawn drawn our three lines this side, three lines that side. Now, on the top, we are drawing a line at one and a half centimeter from the border. First, okay. Now we are going to draw our four pieces on this side and four pieces on this side. See now the total height which is available to us is approximately twenty one centimeters. So our first line is going to be the point is at four and a half. Then in between the gap is going to be one centimeter. Then again we are going to draw a line at four and a half. Then a gap of one centimeter. Then again four and a half gap of one centimeter. And the last is four and a half. Okay. So why we are drawing this is we are going to draw the Ashtvinayak in the four boxes and in the center we are going to have a full figure of Ganpati ji. So mark at four and a half, then leave one centimeter, then mark at four and a half, leave one centimeter, then mark at four and a half, leave one centimeter. I am just going to join the lines. Okay. Now let me darken this. Okay, let me darken it in front of you so that you can completely understand what all drawings we are drawing, so that we know exactly what amount of space is available with us. Okay, so this line that we are drawing is approximately one and a half centimeter from the border on top, and the same way we are drawing a line at the bottom. Okay. First, I am only going to be drawing my squares everywhere so that we know where we are going to be placing our Ashtubhinayak. So these are square boxes. The dimensions are 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm. I have shown you exactly how you have to draw so that you have exactly the same, uh, you know, same dimensions. And you can draw the similar pattern on an A3 sheet. Okay, these are the four boxes this side, and we are going to be drawing the four boxes this side. So we've drawn our four boxes. Now I'm going to give a double line to all of these boxes and I'm going to draw a border in the center to make my painting look more beautiful. Okay? So just let me draw the border and show you. So now I have done my double border on all boxes and I've just drawn a border at a distance of 1 cm in the center as well. Now we are going to be giving a border here. All of this we are doing to you know, enhance the look of the Ganpati ji in the center and the Ashtubhinayak that we are going to be doing on this side. Now for the border here, I am going to be choosing a very simple triangular pattern that is going to be very different from the borders that we have done outside. So simple, I have made my 1 cm by 1 cm boxes for convenience purpose and I am going to be creating my triangles now.
so one side we are going to be giving a pattern here i am giving a hatched pattern and on the other side we will be making we will give color in contrast to the ganpati ji that we will make inside So now I have finished it on all four sides and see how beautiful it has started looking. Let us know now do the base here, complete the base so that our sheet is ready for making the internal figures. Now to complete the base what I will be doing is, we will be doing a pattern in contrast to the blue here. For that I am using a blue colored pen, you can use any colored pen which is available with you. Now what I am doing here is that we are making triple layer circles here. So this is a Madhubani pattern which we are drawing in the border in the background. And Madhubani paintings are never left empty. They are generally filled up with different kinds of patterns. For that I have chosen this pattern to do the borders and then to do a contrasting pattern inside. So now I have completed my lining work see all around and my basic painting with the compartments to create each figure is completely done. So do create this and be ready for us to do our next lesson where we will be creating main Ganpati ji and the Ashtavinayak in the next part. So stay tuned and if you have liked the video please press the like button. And do subscribe to the channel so that you can know as soon as we are putting up the next video. Thank you so much and bye-bye.